Hello everybody, welcome to a very impromptu vlog. I wasn't planning to vlog today at all. I've actually just been trying to edit a video that I filmed a couple of weeks ago. My vibe is just off, like really off. I just don't like the video at all. So I think I'm gonna try and refilm that today. And I just thought, let me just get the camera out and vlog what I'm doing today. Also, I'm just feeling like really weird today. I can't really put my finger on it. I felt like this yesterday as well. Like I don't suffer from anxiety or anything like that. At least I think I don't. Yeah, I don't really know what this kind of funk is that I'm in. I just feel really weird. And I don't know whether it's because I've got like a few bits to do and they're just like hanging over my head and I haven't done them. Um, but I just have like no motivation. I'm on 10 days off from work. And usually I'm like buzzing to like, buzzing to do stuff, buzzing to make content, excited to be able to chill. But I've just been like sat here like, what am I doing? Like I found myself literally just like sat here daydreaming. I was doing it yesterday. I don't know, I just have this like weird feeling in my stomach that I can um, shift. So yeah, I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm actually like fine, like I don't feel sad or anything like that. I just feel weird. <laughs> so yeah, I thought I would vlog because that might make me feel better. Or it might not. Who knows? I'm going for dinner with my friends tonight, so that will be nice. But yeah, I am going to get myself sorted and out of these pyjamas um, and go to the bank and have a little walk. Let the sea breeze shift this funk. Right guys, I am out of the house and I'm on the way to the bank. That is literally the most boring sentence I think I have ever said. Like, is that what adult life is? Like, ooh! I got out of the house and off to the bank, like. Now nah, the wind in this town is no joke. Ugh. I just wanted a nice, peaceful walk along the seafront and I forget that the kids are still off on summer holidays, so it's just full of holiday makers. People having ice creams. I mean, guys, it's nearly like, it's basically nearly raining when people are out here in shorts and t-shirt. Not only is there holiday makers, screaming kids so many seagulls around if i get pooed on i will not be happy it always makes me like chuckle inside when i come up here because these little like shelter things um me and my friends used to come up here when we were underage to get drunk good times like this to me is the ghetto the real ghetto i've come to like the end of the beach um where there's not really much going on if you go just there, there's like a little mini pier um, with not much going for it, to be honest. <laughs> but that's where all the holiday makers are. And then this part of the beach here, I should have maybe, oh, I should have maybe walked down there um, because it's a bit more picturesque and you've got the sand dunes and the lighthouse and all that kind of stuff. It's been many years since I've sat against this wall as well. <laughs> I literally feel like I'm 14 again, just without the frosty jacks. I'm really hungry. Do I get a Greg's for the second time on the vlog? Do I do it? I think I might. I might go and be in there as well. I love a bit of being in there. I haven't been in there in so long. I just like to go in, have a look around. Sometimes I don't even buy anything. It's just good vibes though, you know? I've somehow just spent 30 quid in B&M. Done our island. So I'm back from my travels. And I bought this waffle set duvet set in B&M. How cute is this? Guys, I'm actually obsessed with buying bedding. Like, I just love it. <laughs> so I was actually going to chill for a bit, but I think me and my mum are going to go to my granddad's in a minute. Um, and then I've got a nail appointment. I definitely think that bit of fresh air and walk around town did me some good. I feel a bit more lively now. If I've got time after my nails, I will do my makeup on camera. So yeah, I'll speak to you guys in a bit finally time to go and sort these ratchet nails out one snapped and the rest is just looking terrible also has anyone else fallen into the trap of buying these pillow sliders on instagram because i did and it was the best thing i ever did i have finally finished having my nails done and aren't they just the cutest like a pale pinky white super cute i love them right so i actually have to get ready to go out now i have less than an hour I don't know how that happened. Like I have loads of time and then suddenly I've got less than an hour. I'm literally just gonna do a really, really, really quick, simple glam. So I will film it for you, but it's not gonna be anything crazy. I'm just gonna start with spraying a bit of Fix Plus on my face. Tinted moisturizer on, am I gonna? Hmm. 
I'm not going to use Tinted Moisturiser, I'm going to use MAC Face and Body, which is actually probably lighter coverage than Tinted Moisturiser. Usually I would use this with my hands, but your girl got her nails did, so I don't fancy messing my hands up like that. So I'm literally just going to buff this all over my face. Face and Body just like evens your skin tone out rather than giving you coverage. I actually hate rushing to get ready. Okay, before I do anything else on my skin, I'm just going to put a little bit of my Got To Be Glued hair gel through my eyebrows if you don't do this to your brows then what are you even doing so i literally just use a little spoolie and run it through my brows and then the trick with this is you want to leave it to dry for like a few minutes so it gets really sticky and then you can push the hairs down so that they lay flat i'm telling you now you will not find a brow gel that has more hold than this obviously this isn't actually a brow gel this is actually hair gel but brow hair on it so there you go so i just literally run that from my brows and take off that little bit of excess there um and yeah let this dry for like a minute so it gets really sticky and then i can push the hairs down and they give that laminated effect you know okay so whilst i'm waiting for that to dry i'm literally just going to put a little a tiny bit of my born this way concealer a little bit there a little bit there just like that and then blend it out And then I just take my foundation brush and just go over that edge. So we ain't got no lines, you know what I'm saying? Guys, I feel so much better than I did this morning. <laughs> like who knew that going out and doing something would actually make you feel better, you know? I just think maybe like yesterday I was cooped up in the house all day doing work from home stuff. I don't know how you people that are working from home do it. Like, don't you literally feel like a caged animal? So now I'm just gonna take the end of that spoolie that I used and press the brow hairs down and can you see they are like sticking to my head i mean i think i might have put a little bit too much gel in this one so I'm just gonna brush a bit out okay next product i'm gonna use is this refi cream bronzer in the shade tan this is kind of it's quite warm actually it's quite a ready bronzer but i like it i'm using the brush um that you're supposed to use with it apparently and just working that on around my cheeks and around my temples. The formula of this is really nice. It's like really sheer but really pigmented at the same time. I can't really describe it. It's very balmy, that's for sure. So if you don't like products that are quite like glowy and balmy, then you probably won't like this. Around my forehead, around my cheeks. And then I like to put a little bit on my nose as well. Maybe I'll well mention for good luck. Next, I'm going to use the Refi, Refi, Refi um, cream blusher in the shade Citrine. And it's like this peachy kind of colour. And I'm going to use the other end of the brush. And just pop that on the highest point. I really like putting blusher where you would usually typically put highlighter. I literally can't remember the last time I used highlighter, powder highlighter anyway. And then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of my Huda Beauty powder, just a little bit, just so my eyes don't get all creasy. We're meant to be going to Nando's tonight, but apparently there is a chicken shortage. Okay, so for my brows, I use this um, big boost fibre gel from MAC um, and usually like you would just kind of use it as a mascara for your brows. What? Why do I always drop something every tutorial I drop makeup on me? Anyway I like to use a little brush and just take some of the product and then just draw it into my brow as opposed to using it as mascara. I feel like because my brow hairs are so like weak and fluffy the product doesn't really catch on to them and it tends to just go on my skin instead. So this way I can just kind of control where it's going. Okay, my phone battery is going to die, but here's my brows. They're not looking great because I'm rushing, but I'm going to Nando's, guys. You know what I mean? I'm not going to the Met Gala. Yeah, this is my brows. I'm just going to literally chuck some mascara on and some lip gloss and I'll be done. Right, here is my finished mug. I literally whacked that makeup on so fast and I'm just wearing my little sheen dress yeah i have to be there in half an hour so i should leave now 
Guys, I am home, safe and sound, and really full. We just went for a little easy pizza express, you know. Yeah, it was really nice to see the girls. I'm gonna take this makeup off now and get into bed and watch Love Island. Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave this vlog here because my day is done and there's not really much else to show you. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I don't even know if this vlog is gonna be interesting because it was a really impromptu vlog. I literally was just sat in my bed in a miserable mood and turn the camera on. I guess I won't find out until I edit. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Peace.